56 will now begin. I want to start by thanking all of you for coming out here today. We feel this hill will make great changes for the city. We here at the State Congress have taken a great deal of time to make sure that this bill is great. This bill is great. And we will make the city great again. Did I mention how great this bill is? Because it's great. <laughs> the floor is now open to questions. Uh, excuse me? Uh, my name is Smitty Van Duzel, and I'm with ABC7. And I would like to know, can you explain the premise of this bill? <laughs> well, of course, honey. I did certainly honor this bill by myself and did not in any way, shape, or form have my assistant do it for me. <laughs> but it does make it all about. It's about how we're going to make changes for the city. It's about how we're going to make changes for the city. Yes, but it's, what exactly is the bill about? Uh, well, as you know, this bill entails the application of the funds to the, uh, the creation yeah. of energy jobs. <laughs> the creation of jobs for the energy sector. Yes, Senator. Matthew Johnson here at KTLA. I'm wondering why the bill then describes shutting down the polar, uh, the polar panel factory. Why, which will lay off the estimated 50,000 people if it's supposed to create jobs? <laughs> well, 50,000 people, that's quite an extraordinary number. Stacy, Stacy, why did you tell me that it's on the bill? I did. You're a quick solitaire as I was reading to you the bill. <laughs> the layoffs are fundamental to increase jobs for yours. I will, you see, the layoffs are necessary for creating jobs for the uh, oil factory. Well, okay, next question. Uh, yes, Senator. Uh, Catherine Garvey from uh, Atlantic Times. I want to ask if you could clarify how exactly you will create more jobs for the oil factory when you signed a bill last year to decrease funding for the oil factory. Ah, oh, well, you see, when we decrease funding for oil production, we uh, incentivize business to invest in to oil. Uh, but, but, but don't you mean when you decrease funding for oil production, you incentivize investment in clean energy jobs? Yes, of course, that's exactly what I said. You just did it again. You just corrected your response to what someone else said. You didn't even answer the question. Excuse me, ma'am or sir. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm very clearly answering these questions by myself with my own free will using words that are coming right out of my own mouth. And if you're going to be a problem, I'm going to have to ask you to leave, okay? Next question, please. This is National Letter, Melissa Melissa. Senator, how long did you and your colleagues take draft, edit, and to pass this bill? Four, four, and seven years ago. <laughs> These are great words. They are spoken by one of the greatest presidents of this great country, Abraham Lincoln. That is, however, not to say that me and my great team of political thinkers that are my colleagues did not spend nearly as much time to craft this extraordinary bill. Oh, but, but that is not to say, however, we did not spend as much time as we needed to carefully and precisely make this bill. So I say maybe like fortnight, uh, give or take one, two, five days. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. You clearly have no idea what you're talking about, stealing other people's responses and passing them up as your own. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> what was what? I didn't say anything. Next question, please. Senator, there have been rumors that you have been taking campaign donations from oil companies. What do you have to say about that? Well, yes, well, you see, the real burning question is what do you have to say about your accepted campaign donations from the oil companies? <laughs> Huh? You charlatan! You haven't answered a single question tonight. I demand you give us straight answers at once, you stupid head. <laughs> yeah. bet, you, bet you think I didn't hear that. Is your touch jealous of all the garbage that's coming out of your mouth? Ooh. Excuse me, sir. Now is not the time to be questioning by perfectly functioning bowel movements. Okay? I'm sorry. I've already warned you for disrupting this conference before, but your constant rude behavior is a 
instructing all these other fine reporters from properly discussing this clearly important bill that is, of course, very obviously about creating jobs for the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, anyways, the point is that I, that I must unfortunately have to force you to leave because you can't do your job properly as a member of the press. Guards, take him out, please. All right, let's go, Buster. Let's go. Let's go.